everything that there is to do. Every accolade, every championship. And his dedication to WWE, that puts him in a class by himself. Triple H and I have had some epic, epic matches. Two icons in their prime. I have developed, uh, not by my choosing, the moniker of one of the most polarizing superstars in the history of WWE. I was new. I was brash. Yeah. People still really enjoyed the WWE the way it was. I was a beacon of change that they didn't want. When you introduce the cerebral assassin into that equation, Triple H, the game, he was very aware of the environment and how to poke the bear of the WWE universe to get them to really turn against me. To paint me in the light of like, this young kid doesn't have the ability that I have and doesn't belong here. And I hear you, you don't want him here. So allow me to use that as a psychological advantage when I go into these, these contests. It's never been personal between you and me when it comes down to it's being the best. WrestleMania 22, Triple H was the standard and it was a proving ground for me. A lot of people questioned, do I belong? Fast forward to 2008, I think now you can view Triple H versus myself as an attraction not an achievement. The two most important figures in WWE today. 2008 was, man, I can't miss this, because it is Godzilla versus King Kong. Triple H versus John Cena. Are you ready? I thought I had his number. I tapped him out at WrestleMania with the whole world watching. Triple H showed me that even the greatest have to regroup and come back even better the next time around. And with that intro being said, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alpha Mal 926, aka okay? Mal 926, and hold up, that music is a little cringe. I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. Just a little bit, not much. Y'all going to sit here, but... Yeah, like I was saying, it's your boy, Alpha Mal 926, aka okay? Mal 926, and welcome to another... Well, this isn't really a weekly show, this is more of a just a... Periodic upload of us continuing the uh, John Cena showcase. And like I said last week, um, we did the Rey Mysterio showcase in 2K22, so you wanted to get a John Cena one done in 2K23. So just full transparency. So I recently uploaded the first episode of this yesterday, at this point. And the moment I uploaded it, when I say instantly, like. Three, four copyrighted stuff got hit, and they were all like the WWE footage. Not even like the little John Cena intro of him talking, or anything like that, but anything that involved actual wrestling, like from like SmackDown, Vengeance, all that stuff, instantly got hit. So I had to go back after I had already uploaded the video and everything, and try to, uh, you know, post or whatever. I had to cancel the upload because when I tried to trim it out on YouTube itself, it was taking like forever to load in for some reason. So I said, okay, screw it. Cancel the upload and re uploaded everything. And uh, I had to go back and re edit it and cut off everything. So, you know, man. It, it, it took a minute to re re like edit everything because i had to go through kind of like watch it and catch the parts that i needed to catch and whatnot but man i did what i could do though man okay this this pacific suplex right here, i hate this bro everyone does this and it's like bobby lashley's thing bro i really hate it so just let him get in the ring on his own. So what I'm gonna do is uh attempt to let uh not even attempt to let I'm, I'm thinking like two things at once. I'm like let him back in the ring and all that. I'm gonna make sure I have to cut everything. I probably have to cut something right now. So I gotta hear him talk. So let it go. So yeah, I'll be cutting in a minute. <laughs> I'm sure. Why they can't just keep it like this? Keep it animated, bro. Like this. Don't switch into the real shit. That's cool. And I know y'all couldn't see any of that. But the fact that uh, if y'all could have seen that clip, my pleasure could go back and watch it and see it. 
Triple H was so tan. Pause. <laughs> in that in that that clip. Like his skin tone, like here in the game, is nothing compared to what what he had in in that the actual match clips. Okay. Never. Never. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Okay, I, I could swear I'm supposed to reverse your stuff. You reversing all my shit. Alright. Oh, wow. Get off the scene. Get off. But yeah, that's. I will say that's. Oh my goodness. I thought I could reverse. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I thought. I thought, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm so. Overwhelmed right now. <laughs> trying to make sure I do all this stuff right, bro. And win this match. Y'all can see me. Y'all can see me. Okay, he's reversing all my shit. Nope. Huh. There we go. And. Ugh. How can I go for something when you're reversing my shit, Cena? I haven't reversed that move one time. Just saying. Jesus Christ. <gasps> okay, so I can reverse this, huh? I 100% just press triangle. Okay, this is slightly more getting, I feel like it's getting increasingly difficult more, the more matches we get into it. You know what I'm saying? Which is a W. But which brings me back to what I was trying to say earlier was, I understand the whole, oh my goodness gracious. I understand the whole like, wanting to have the actual footage in there and that there's an appeal to that for sure. But it's like, for instance, like in uh, 2K14 when they did the 30 years of WrestleMania, when they did like cutscenes and stuff like that, they kept like the in-game models. Like they didn't show like the actual footage, but they reenacted everything to like perfection kind of, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? So why not be able to do that again, you know? Like it's cool, yeah, okay, let's have the real footage, but if you know that people are going to try to like content created off of the, like your games and things of that nature which is very popular obviously it's not new so why would it be in a point where do you feel like they gotta copyright every damn thing and make it harder for creators to actually make videos on like the games and stuff you know what i'm saying and i immediately had to cut as soon as soon as i was saying that you know what i'm saying so stuff like that man like it's not a super big issue you know what i'm saying but i feel like in that same facet, you know what I'm saying? Since they want, you know what I'm saying, to put the actual footage in. And even if I wasn't like just trying to make videos, I thought I was just trying to play the game. It's a little weird to have the actual footage and everything in it, but there's no commentary. Unless that's just a me thing or something like that. No, it's any crazy. I feel like there's so much other things. Um, remember my train of thought. Getting distracted, trying to concentrate on doing everything. Like I said, you know, to me, what's for him look like he wants to get the home break in the ring. Goodness gracious, the reversals are crazy on here, bro. Reversing all my shit. Anyway, the no commentary thing is so weird for me like 
even in those games they had commentary you know what I'm saying so I kind of miss having commentary here I know you can't have JR and things of that nature like you wanted for some of these matches so I feel like why not uh, at least have you know Corey Graves, Michael Cole, Ryan Saxon have them Have them do, if y'all heard me, like I was saying, have, oh my God. Okay, that just like was not at all what I saw. Get hit with attitude adjustments out of cutscenes and everything's crazy. But uh, what I was trying to say was have Byron Saxton, Corey Graves, and Michael Cole. If you're gonna have them be the commentary people, you know what I'm saying. Have them reenact some of the lines. You know, so you could go back into the old footage, see what was being said in those like matches, and like you know, have a commentary, bro. And, like, I don't know if this is just, like, a thing where I could cut it on if I wanted to in the, like, settings. But I don't think I can, though. So, the first who pedigree didn't get the job done, which was going to hit me with a third in the ring. You got to cut all that. Pedigree. And that's going to be the end of that. One, two, get off. Okay, John. All right, now. All right, now. All right, now. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, John. God damn. And the fact that we got a good Triple H with hair in this is such a W. This win animation. They need to get rid of this animation, bro. Triple H don't 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 animate like that when he win, bro. What they on? Come on, bro. Fix this. They got everybody doing this. See? It's my little nick picks, man. Little nick picks here and there, bro. That I could pick out and just be like. If you fix this, fix that, fix this, fix that. Best game ever. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta fix little things like that, man. But let John Cena talk his shit real quick. Enormous wrestling, having done everything, everywhere, except for WWE. He debuted at the Royal Rumble to a lot of buzz. Can it be AJ Styles? The phenomenal one is here. Your first WWE match is your first day on the job. Period. And you needed somebody to bring who he is at his core out. Man, what if just for one time AJ Styles could face off against John Cena? I'm gonna run circles around you and I'll be the one saying you can't see me. What if AJ Styles would have been here 15 years ago? You wouldn't have been a 15-time world heavyweight champion. The right thing to do for AJ Styles to exist in the WWE was was give him identity. Beat up John Cena. Beat up John Cena. That became his identity, and that gave him a foothold. It's like the first time I was able to take off the boots and tights and line two words together. It was just something to hold on to, and something for fans to to believe in you for. AJ was basically perfect that night. He had an answer for everything. Even the SummerSlam hurt. But I knew with the right work and preparation, I'd get another chance at it. I knew we weren't done yet. A big time dream match of mine was seeing this man. Like back when AJ was in TNA, aka Impact, I always wondered what a John Cena versus AJ Styles match would be like, man. And I'm glad we got to live in a world where we got to actually see that, bro. I really am.
Agent One displays excellence immediately. Dives with me into the ropes and followed with a beautiful drop kick. Why did I try to read that as if I was John Cena type shit? Nope. Up, bro. Let me do my dodges real quick so I can get those out of the way. Huh, huh, huh. Uh huh. Hit with that. Hit with that. Boom. Once you get to the apron, I figured he wanted to rest, but it was a trap. He can enter with a slingshot, DDT, and put me down. That was the one to show he was more of him. Pretty clear thing. Put me into the submission hole in the ring. There's a way to do the submission hole. Okay. That was a nice kick. See him keep stay down for five seconds, bro? Please. I'm trying to do the submission part first. And he reversed me. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Thank you, bro, for being just a great help. Oh, wow. Nope. Ugh, and they break off. Wow, he got out of that instantaneously. No. No. Man, I'm putting that in the face like that, bro. Oh, wow. No, you don't. No, you don't. Ooh, imagine if I could have put that into a style crash. That would have been fucking amazing. Let me shot DDT. I only just the one. So, I uh, couldn't reverse none of that. It's crazy, man. To that knee out. To that knee out. I think that's what I was doing, but okay. While well, standing on the apron, okay, okay, okay. I see what I'm doing. See what I'm doing wrong here. There we go. There we go. Just trying to sneak, do me, bro. I'll do that. I love that move right there when AJ does that, for real. I love that shit. All right, we're gonna have to cut in a second, though. I'm already knowing what's happening here. And there it is. Now, I'm, a, I'm what I'm gonna do, I'm going to attempt for some of these. Like, those ones like that, I'm gonna try to cut it as soon as it happens, type shit. We took out each other's best shot at that point. I was new to stay on Taz with a big. There we go. He's in his phone now. Going from Moon to Moon, AJ Wood. Head to the apron and connect with his signature. 450 slash. Boom. With my air gone, I will leave him with just a real barrel pain in the ring. Expected more to attack off middle guard with the tricky grab combo while we're in the ring. I'm gonna go for the grab combo. Oh. Oh God. No option to even reverse none of this. I know he not for him. No fucking. Okay, he ain't got no. He ain't got no. He ain't got no. He ain't got no. I thought he was. Oh God. Jeez. No. Come on, AJ. Come on, AJ. There we go. Oh, my goodness. He keep trying him with that comeback, don't he? Mm. Mm. Yeah, there we go. 
And how we do that? This is a real grapple attack. Then I have opponent in ring, ground circle, and then I have to find that. Wow. Come on, AJ. Nope. You try it. I was trying to corner the edges and took another front light corner attack. We got this. We're going to keep it on the trigger. As soon as we see real footage, we instantly press the options button. AKA start button. I know y'all missing out on some of this, man, but it's the copyright, man. I'll never be able to post the video. Maybe seeing a little burst like that might be okay. I hope. Damage to his legs. Damage to his legs. Yeah, get damage to his legs, and then he fucking hits me and reverses my shit. God! Yeah, stop this nonsense, Cena. Stop this nonsense, Cena. Now, slow down as he turned up with his big boy most of DDT while I was standing in the ring. This joint. Oh man. Get up, see. I need you to be in the right position. And this is right where I need you to be. There we go. Pay out. Might be the end of the match too, low key. I don't know. We can see. Up. Oh. I'm tweaking. Forgot how to do my shit for a minute. Huh. He gonna kick out. He gonna kick out. Watch this. One, two. What I say, man. No single gonna do it to me, bro. That's all right. That's why I got three of these things. Ain't enough. Ain't enough. Ain't enough. Get up. Bah! Let's go. Put him down. One. Two. Let's go. Let's go. Fucking John Cena, man. These fights, bruh. Got me working for these victories, bruh. I'm trying to breeze through this shit. <laughs> Let's go. W for the phenomenal one. Where is AJ at, bro? Oh, he's injured, bro. I forgot AJ got injured, man. I'm so thinking, thinking like, man, WrestleMania season and no AJ style. Like, what's going on? But I forgot. I don't, I don't think he's matched at all with, with passion. Oh, the rated all superstar, to, man. To, to giving every My boy. So when you put two of those people together to draw an attraction, either you make it or you don't. Anyone with any foresight to like a crystal ball of WWE is doing that. This is not going to work. This will be a one moment thing and that's it. I think Edge and I have thousands of matches together. <laughs> In almost every capacity, we've done almost everything that could be done. My favorite moment with Edge would be a performance we had in Toronto. And in Toronto, everyone cheered for him. There's a, a wide camera shot of the two of us circling in the ring. And you can audibly hear, and read my lips, Edge was bad and got everyone to cheer. Do people think it's fair that I have to defend this title against John Cena at SummerSlam? He was and is still always able to kind of morph in and out of these dimensions he's created for himself. This story's gonna have a happy ending. 
but it's gonna be for me. I really thought I had Edge cornered. I should have known that only make it more dangerous. Even with the threat of losing the WWE Championship if he were disqualified, Edge found a way to set me up. He cheated for me to let me in. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> All right, man. Let's go, man. Edge. Vintage Edge with a vintage lead out there as well. Kind of a W. Nope, no, nope. Sorry. Light out. It's going like that. Let's get it. Okay, his pants. I'm, I'm looking at him. I'm like, why his pants look a little weird here? Why they got radar superstar on it? But that's okay though. I gotta really say, stay down scene and this man reverses my shit. Huh. Huh. Yeah, you trying to talk me, no suck. Huh. Okay, can't do the down attack when he's blocking my path to the rope, huh? Keep hitting him with that shit. I don't know he getting pissed off with that. Tired of hitting him with that. Get up, get up, Sina. Come on, come on. Oh. I swear I thought he was gonna reverse that. This was in Boston too, if I remember correctly. That actual match was in Boston. What the hell is this? Yeah, you miss me, buddy. Come on, man. No. Oh. See, let's stop reversing my stuff, man. Now I gotta do all the extra damage for no reason because you're gonna reverse my shit. Damn it. Okay, Cena's reversing a lot of my stuff, but I feel like I'm this the best I've done as far as like my damage to myself. Uh against Cena. If you get that sounded dumb. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. As far as damage being done to me is what I mean to say. I feel like I'm doing better this time with Edge than I did in the other matches. With Triple H and uh, AJ Styles. So I think, I'm thinking after this match is, then, is when we'll end it and then we'll come back next week with more. Matter of fact, not even next week because the about time y'all see this, WrestleMania will probably be the same week as I release this video. So I'll probably release a video on Monday alongside with another episode of The Quarry. And then that Friday for like the days that like wrestling actually come on. And then that weekend, it should be WrestleMania by the time y'all see this, if I'm not mistaken. So, prepare for that. Heavy content coming, man. Gear up for WrestleMania. I might 
I might actually be different, man, and and do a little WrestleMania conversation, man. Talk about how I felt about WrestleMania. Let me know what y'all think about that. I'm thinking maybe I could do like a little a grade on all the matches and shit. I'm chopping him to death. Oh god. the channel fresh switch up some things you know what I'm saying okay it was the anyone's match it reminded me of that when he got my face so seen him let's go ahead and move bro No, press the wrong button. No. Oh my. Never could reverse that. Never reverse that neither. Great. Now he's beating my ass. And now he's gonna fight another shuffle. Great. Don't do this to me. Come on, go ahead. You got to do that. And it did give me the option to reverse. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. This is sickening. This is sickening. Got it, Edge. Here we go. <gasps> what? What? Oh, my. And I pressed triangle, bro. What is this? Cena heard me talking shit, bro. He heard me, bro. He heard me. He heard me. Get your way. He heard me talking shit about how I was doing real good. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you prick. Now get up, man, so I can reverse something, man. Dang. Mm. Mm. Wow, a corkscrew. Come on, bro. He pumping up the shoes on me. That's crazy. That's crazy. I gotta get my signature. Where did Lita go? Maybe if I was able to watch the cuts, then I could tell you that. Like, I remember this match, but I don't, I don't remember there being a moment where, like, Lita just disappeared. I could be completely wrong. Referee might call her doing some, some goofy shit and gonna say hug real quick. I don't know. But she was out there, though. <laughs> oh. Hey, it was a thought, but he walked towards the turnbuckle and set up for the finisher. Was Edge really gonna win clean? Hell no, y'all know how it is be rocking, bro. <laughs> Hill Edge will get a win by any means. Wow, and there it goes. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to be the last clip before the end. That's crazy. Well, we unlocked the SummerSlam Arena, and we unlocked this Lita. And in that picture, she's looking fine as a dime. No, I'm sorry, Okay. With that being said, good job you earned John Cena's attire from SummerSlam 2006. Now go complete all the objectives in match eight to unlock the model. Uh, Edge is attire. What is that match eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this is okay. We're going back now. We started here. Now we're going back here. He's survived the mission chamber, if only just barely. And then when Mr. Money in the Bank decided the moment was right to execute his first ever cash in. Look at Edge's attire in that, bro. He just had a star on the side of his pants, bro. That is crazy. All he had was a star on his pants. Okay. 
that's very early age. Ready to all superstar days, bro. All right, well, we're going to start off with that next time. I hope y'all have been enjoying this, man, because me being a big John Cena fan, and also, if I don't know if y'all know this, but you know John Cena follows me on Twitter? Random, right? <laughs> but one day, I just woke up and got on Twitter, and I looked at my notification feed, and it just said, you've been followed by John Cena. I said, what? <laughs> Like, huh? <laughs> so I, I couldn't fucking believe it, but this man actually follows me on Twitter. I'll make sure I put a picture of it right here so y'all can see it. And last time when I uploaded the other video, I I added him on the on the uh the post or whatever on tweet to like let you know let y'all know that I uploaded the next video on my YouTube and all that. You can go click the link and everything. I just added John Cena on it just because because I'm like, what's the chances? Maybe he'll see this. And if you're watching, John, I just want to let you know, man, I am a big, big, big fan of everything you've done in and out of the ring. I appreciate your contribution to keeping us all entertained. And thank you for following me on Twitter. And if John Cena's not watching this, if somebody else is watching this that knows John Cena, hopefully y'all can let him know that from me. But in any case, man, that's going to end this week's video. As always, I hope you all enjoy it. Hope y'all had a good time hanging out with me, and we're going to be back with more of this. We got more Quarry. We got more Scooby-Doo coming. We got more Dragon Ball. It's it's a content explosion in Resident Evil 4 remake. I'm working on that now. It's so much, man. So much to do, and I hope you all are ready for the content, and I hope you all are enjoying it. And as always, man, thank you so much for supporting me and my dream in this channel. It helped me get to the new heights that I'm trying to reach on the road to 200 subscribers. I appreciate you all. I love you all. And I will see y'all next time. Peace.